Do you want the exact settings Peterbot uses for Fortnite Chapter 6? These secret tweaks will boost your FPS and give you zero input delay instantly. So stick with me because I'll show you step-by-step step how to set it up just like a pro. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Step one, maximize CPU performance by unlocking all processors for Fortnite. In this step, we are going to make sure that your computer uses all the processor cores it has, so Fortnite can run much smoother and faster. First, press the Windows key on your keyboard. In the search bar, type system configuration and open it. A window will appear. At the top of this window, click the boot tab. Now click the advanced options button. A new box will pop up. Inside that box, tick the checkbox that says number of processors. From the drop down menu, choose the highest number available. This number shows how many CPU cores your computer has. By selecting the highest number, you are telling Windows to use all of your CPU's power instead of keeping some of it unused. This makes your system respond faster, your games run smoother, and can increase your FPS frames per second in Fortnite. After this, click OK, then apply, and finally close the window. Your CPU is now unlocked to use its full power, which means better gameplay, less lag, and lower input delay while playing Fortnite. This is a very important step for smooth gaming. Step two, making your CPU work better by unparking CPU cores for Fortnite. You can download and access all the files in one place from my Discord server. I'll also provide the links in the description. Your CPU has many cores, which work like mini processors inside it. Sometimes Windows parks or disables some of these cores to save energy. While this can help battery life, it is not good for gaming because Fortnite needs as much power as possible so we will unpark them. Once installed, right-click on the program and choose Run as Administrator so that it has full access to your system. When the program opens, it will scan your CPU and show you which cores are active and which are parked. Now simply click the Unpark button to activate all your CPU cores. After doing this, your CPU will always work at its full strength. This will make Fortnite run smoother, help reduce FPS drops, and make your entire system feel faster overall. By unparking the cores, you ensure that your computer never holds back performance while gaming, which is very helpful for low-end or medium PCs. Step 3. Using NVIDIA Profile Inspector settings for Fortnite You can download and access all the files in one place from my Discord server. I'll also provide the links in the description. If your computer has an NVIDIA graphics card, then you can use a special tool called NVIDIA Profile Inspector. This tool gives you access to hidden settings that are not available in the regular NVIDIA control panel, and these can improve your FPS and reduce input delay. First, open NVIDIA Profile Inspector. At the top of the window, there is a search bar. Type in Fortnite and select it. If you already downloaded my custom settings file from Discord, you can simply import it. If not, you can change the settings manually. Here's how to set them. In the anti-aliasing section, set transparency. Super sampling to 0000000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 Tetra 0, 0008. In the texture filtering section, turn on driver controlled LOD. Set LOD bias, DX and LOD bias, OGL to plus three. These changes will reduce small graphics details such as grass and shadows, which helps boost FPS. Set negative, LOD bias to clamp. Set texture filtering quality to high quality. In the Power Management section, set Power Management Mode to Optimal Performance. Finally, click Apply Changes to Save. These secret settings are great for low-end and medium PCs because they help Fortnite run smoother with fewer stutters and FPS drops. Step 4. Improve CPU Performance Using Throttle Stop for Fortnite You can download and access all the files in one place from my Discord server. I'll also provide the links in the description. To push your CPU performance even further, we will use a program called Throttle Stop. This tool makes sure your CPU stays fast and doesn't slow down while playing Fortnite. Go to the folder where you downloaded Throttle Stop and open throttlestop.exe. When the program opens, you will see different performance modes such as performance mode, game mode, internet mode, and battery mode. Choose the option called Game Power Plan. After that, check the box next to High Performance. This will tell your CPU to always focus on performance instead of saving power. Now, look at the other sections. Clock mode, set multiplier, and speed shift settings. Do not change anything here. Just make sure you tick the box that says disable turbo. This keeps your CPU speed stable and prevents it from overheating or slowing down during long gaming sessions. When finished, click turn on, then save. Keep throttle stop running in the background while playing Fortnite. 
This will help your CPU stay strong, stable, and smooth during your matches. Step 5. Use MSI Afterburner to boost your GPU clock speeds. You can download and access all the files in one place from my Discord server. I'll also provide the links in the description. Now it's time to boost your graphics card using a tool called MSI Afterburner. This tool allows you to safely overclock your GPU for better FPS. After installing MSI Afterburner, open it. You will see several sliders for different performance settings. Start by increasing the power limit and temperature limit by sliding them all the way to the right. Do not touch the core voltage slider. Next, slowly increase your memory clock in small steps of plus 20. For example, if it is at zero, move it to 20, then test your game. If the game is stable, increase it to 40, and so on. After each increase, test Fortnite to make sure it runs smoothly. If at any point the game becomes unstable, go back to the last stable setting. Once you find the best performance level, click Apply to save your changes. This method helps your GPU work faster, and it can give you a nice FPS boost in Fortnite. Step 6. Make your keyboard faster, using filter keys, setter for Fortnite. You can download and access all the files in one place from my Discord server. I'll also provide the links in the description. Now we will speed up your keyboard so it responds faster in Fortnite. For this, we will use a tool called Filter Keys Setter. Open the Filter Keys Setter program. You will see three main settings. Ignore, Under, set this to zero milliseconds. This removes any delay when pressing a key. Repeat delay, set this to 130 milliseconds. This decides how quickly a key starts repeating when you hold it down. Repeat rate, set this to 10 milliseconds. This makes your keyboard respond faster when pressing keys repeatedly. After setting these values, tick the box on the right side to enable them. Finally, click OK to apply the changes. These settings will make your keyboard more responsive, which is especially useful in fast-paced games like Fortnite, where quick reactions can make a big difference. Step 7. Set game mode and graphic settings for best performance. This is the last step, and it makes sure Windows gives full priority to Fortnite while you play. Click on the Windows search bar and type Game Mode. Open it and turn Game Mode on. This makes your PC focus on the game and ignore background apps that could slow it down. Next, type Graphics Settings in the search bar and open it. Click Browse, then find the folder where Fortnite is installed. Add the file called Fortnite Client-Win64-Shipping.xa to the list. After adding it, click on Fortnite in the list, choose Options, and set it to High Performance, then click Save. This ensures your GPU gives Fortnite maximum power whenever you play. Done! You're now fully optimized for gaming. If this guide helps you boost FPS, fix stutters, or improve your ping in Fortnite, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more gaming optimization guides. Also, let me know in the comments how much your game improved. I'd love to hear your results.